Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ball Fake Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and support our new movement by putting Let's Go Viral in the comment section. But if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating and a nice review. But without further ado, here are your hosts, Nicely Chunga Benny and Greg King. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the Ball Fake Podcast, members of the Off The Ball Network. And in today's video, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. Now, normally I give my takes and my initial thoughts on whatever topic that we have for today. And as you guys can see by the title, we're going to be discussing the Dylan Brooks situation, him getting suspended for game three. And, you know, just talk about the overall dynamic of the flagrant foul two committed on Gary Payton the second. And what I decided to do with today's video, I decided to contact some notable Warriors fans and I wanted to hear their initial thoughts on, you know, today's episode and things of that nature, right? So without further ado, we're gonna be bringing on Sam Goldfarb, a Davidson sports commentator for college basketball and all other uh, athletics, followed by River Brown from the Pick a Side podcast. And then we're gonna close the show out with Brian Ruiz, another member of the Off The Ball Network. He also has a podcast called by the name of the all the hype podcast so make sure you check his content out and without further ado let's get started with today's video hey nicely so looking at this gary payton the second and dylan brooks situation is interesting for me i want to start by saying i think that that suspension of dylan brooks absolutely deserved if you're gonna eject draymond green for what in my opinion was at worst a pretty bad flagrant one in game one you've got to suspend brooks here he's making no play on the basketball when gary payton the second is up in the air and it results in gary payton being out a couple weeks with a fractured elbow i think that the long-term effects of this honestly you could argue you need to extend that suspension a game uh yes i do know that he's going to be out game three which is a pivotal game but i'll still come back for a game four where hypothetically Memphis would have its back against the wall and be able to play in that game. Meanwhile, for Golden State, this is a team that loses one of its best perimeter defenders and most well-rounded role players, a guy who's carved out a niche on both ends of the floor. I think that this is a huge loss, and I think that as a result, you could justify even extending that Brooks suspension one game due to the sheer consequence. Now, do you want to evaluate it based on consequence or severity of act? I think that's something you take up with NBA officials, but all I'm going to leave you with is there's nothing good about that Dylan Brooks play. When it comes to the Draymond Green and Dylan Brooks situation, I just feel like certain stuff could definitely be avoided. You know, I feel like in a situation like that where Gary Payne clearly has a lot of hops, you know, we've seen him play. He has a lot of athletic ability. You've seen the liftoff. He was clearly, that was an easy layup. And Dylan Brooks, I feel like he's seen that. And he's not a guy with a lot of bounce, a lot of athleticism to him. He jumped and it was clearly going for the head. You know, I think he should be out for as long as GP should be out because that really could have put GP down, you know? And that's somebody who's really going to be important in a series like this, a guy who defends John Morant the best, you know? And I feel like Dylan Brooks going for his head, that was really messed up because he really jeopardized GP's free agency too because he was on his way to a good contract. You know, he's been playing elite defense all year. He's been important for the Golden State run. And this playoff run was definitely going to, you know, put him to some high standing. So I just feel like for Dylan Brooks, you know, that was a bad play, dirty play. I mean, he's a guy who, you know, he gets aggressive. You know, he's led the league in fouls, I believe. And he just, he gets a lot aggressive. He plays an aggressive style, but that is a situation where it could have been avoided, definitely. Do I feel like him and Draymond Green have the same situation? No, because I feel like when we all play basketball, you know, Draymond Green, when he reached for the ball, I feel like a lot of people do that, you know, swiping at the ball. I don't think he meant to hit him in his face. The grab down obviously was something extreme, but Dylan Brooks literally just clotheslined his head. So I feel like in a situation like that where it could jeopardize a guy and put him down like that, you know, that deserves as many games as that guy's out or probably the whole series because that could really affect a team like that. What's going on, Ball Fake Podcast? Thank you guys for reaching out and asking me my thoughts on the Warriors Grizzlies series so far. Um, I appreciate you guys as always. Nice that you've been a great guest on my show before. So, like I said, thank you guys for reaching out and asking for some some input from a Warriors perspective. Uh, I think starting off with the first thing, the most important thing this uh, so far in this series has been the ejections, the fouls, the physicality, 
And I want to get one thing straight before going directly into what's been going on. Um, physicality is not an issue. Physicality is not a problem. That should be how playoff basketball is played. But when things get out of hand and things are starting to get dirty and cheapy and cheap, that's when it goes far beyond the, the sport and everything that playoff basketball is about. So getting directly into the ejection, the ejection by Dylan Brooks and the subsequent injury and now the suspension that we've learned about, I think that was completely unacceptable and disgusting behavior from Dylan Brooks. You guys know on that on, on your guys' podcast, I've said it on other platforms before. I've said it on my platform before. I've never liked Dylan Brooks. I don't think he's a good player. I think he's an inefficient player. I think he's a dirty player. I think he's one of those guys who gets labeled as a somewhat aggressive player or a good defender simply because he fouls a lot. Literally last season, he led the league in fouls. So I, I don't buy the whole thing that Dylan Brooks is a good player. He's not to me. What he did to Gary Payton, like I said, is absolutely unacceptable behavior. John Moran had already tried to foul them to prevent him from going up for the dunk or the layup. He was already in the air. Dylan Brooks is running full speed, doesn't even make a play on the ball, has a wind up, hits him on the side of the head. For those of you that have said and try to argue that knowing how to land is important in these situations, you clearly haven't ever played a sport in which you're in the air and someone even brushes up against you or hits you from behind when you're in the air you have absolutely no control over the way your body contorts and the way you fall and the first thing that people do when they're about to fall down is obviously stick their arms out to kind of cushion that fall and prevent falling directly on their back hit their head or on their face or whatever it may be so please please drop the if you would have landed better it wouldn't have been a similar situation like if Dylan Brooks doesn't foul him like that and cause that unnecessary injury, then it's not an issue. As for the suspension, I'm I'm fine with Dylan Brooks getting the one game suspension. I kind of thought that's what was going to happen. Obviously, he wasn't just going to be able to play again. And we saw earlier in the season, very similar play from Grayson Allen to Alex Caruso. Same thing, he kind of caught him in the air and when Caruso came down, fractured his wrist similar thing here said gp2 had his elbow um so i think a one game suspension is fine but those are my thoughts guys thanks again for her having me on for a little bit um i look forward to working with you guys later on uh, maybe talk some more warriors grizz later on or potential other matchups later on in the postseason all right have a good one y'all all right, with that being said, that looks like it's going to conclude today's show. Thank you to Sam, Riv, and Brian Ruiz all for coming on today's show and, you know, just dropping their initial thoughts on this entire situation. Um, let me know what you guys think about this entire dynamic of the situation here in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video of me here on the Ball Fake Podcast. And if you're new to our YouTube channel or listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notification and give us a nice review on both Apple Podcasts and all other podcast streaming platforms but besides that it's your boy nicey chunga you're listening to the ball fake podcast and we out praise god